Creaky, but you're on fire. Dude, brush your shoulder off. Go ahead. <laughs> Still walking look at off. Look at Still the swagger. Off. Look at Still the swagger. Off. Feels good to be back in Montana. Cool morning. I'm eight cups of coffee in. Just like a spider monkey. He's freaking oh, ready. I'm, I'm moving. Can't set in one spot. I'm moving. His feet is always moving. <laughs> and his mouth. Oh. I wish you'd pick a different dot, but I ain't got too many arrows. I like the suspense of not knowing what's gonna happen when I send it down range and your arrows are all sitting down there. Do you see that? I'm gonna go with the wind took that one. I'll be starting my seminar about nine. <laughs> Did you learn anything today, bro? At 12 seasons, you're still just as full of crap as what you were. The first 11, it's unbelievable. So the mornings out here are pretty relaxed. Unless you're antelope hunting, the best thing that we can do is stay off these fields and let these deer stay comfortable on their way back to bed. So we spend a lot of time in the morning shooting our bows or glassing from a distance, getting ready to make a move and get some stands hung. So due to our intel this morning and our wind this afternoon, we don't have any trees on this side of the alfalfa, but there's an old chair up on this ridge right here that years ago, Philip Vanderpool, I think, got a nice buck out of. And as you can see right here, look at this trail out into the alfalfa. Take a look at it right here. Unfortunately, we don't have an area we can hang. Take a couple of blind chairs. We're going to go up on this top. About a 35 yard shot right to this pinch point of this fence gap. So, should be money. I'm going to have to say 28, probably 28. That's perfect. You know, being able to do your homework is so critical, especially on these early season whitetails out west. Being able to get up high, get a half a mile to three quarters of a mile away and watch these deer go back to bed and see what trails are hot and which ones are not. And to be able to kind of formulate a plan around that, just like this one. This was gonna be a radical move, but we knew it was the right spot. We knew it had been done before and we only needed to get it done at least one more time. Dude, you talk about a cool hunt. Seeing that sucker come out, come all the way down this bottom. We come in early, trim out some stuff and brush this all in. Yeah, and then you can get right there. Our blind chair here, you know, I'll shoot him right there. <laughs> Dudes, I love it. It's P. Vitty. Hey, gotta give P. Vitty credit on this one. Gotta get my pre-hunt snack on. What are you eating? Banana bread? Mm, we're blood trailing tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Get this stuff. Sky country. We probably 
probably been in the tree for an hour and it's taken me that long to get to a point where we didn't have a deer within bow range. I mean, we have been covered up already. Just an awesome, awesome looking spot right here. Powder River Outfitters. We're right on the Powder River right here. We can see up and down. It's pretty cool watching all the deer cross. Got our fingers crossed too. Here we go. I mean, it's like you flipped a switch. You'd notice one deer, and as soon as you notice that deer, you'd notice another deer behind him, to the right, to the left. At this point, honestly, it was getting hard to keep up where they're all coming from, because they were coming from everywhere. You know, for the evening, our little perch, it really paid off. We had a ton of deer do exactly what we needed them to and come right through that gate gap. Unfortunately, the only shooter of the night hugged the fence and came out down from us. But on the bright side, he came out about 40 yards from a set of millenniums that we have hung. We just need the right wind. I was just flat off the mark too, but I did lay eyes on some good bucks and I felt confident of where I needed to be for that next evening. Years ago, I had a stand, a set of millenniums in that tree right there. John watched this last night for us, and by the way, he talked. The deer still doing pretty much what they did several years ago whenever I hunted this particular spot right here. We're gonna hang another set of millenniums for tonight. We got a good win for this. A great tree but I think it's in a great spot so we had to make it work we're right tucked right into this corner where a lot of these bucks come out so with any luck I think it's gonna be in the right spot I can't wait to get up there this afternoon let's get up out of here I'll be honest with you you're gonna want to hold nice and tight because this wind is whipping crazy today me and Cody come in John come in earlier put in a set of millenniums in here and the only tree that was in the right spot was literally this big around. So let's do the math. How big around is the tree? This big. How big around are you? <laughs> I mean, at least we got a temperature change. And this looks like we've already had deer in bow range. Okay, yeah. well, that's a plus. Between the weather front moving through and having these deer on their feet and the move we'd made with the millenniums, we felt confident off of what we'd seen the night before we were going to be exactly where we needed to be. It's better to be safe than sorry. I went ahead and brought a block target with me because on this hillside in this 20 mile an hour crosswind, I wanted to see just how much it would affect my arrows. Took a couple practice shots, all things feel good. We're ready to rock and roll and hopefully punch a tag. I appreciate you, brother. We're hustling, trying to get set up this afternoon in Montana at Powder River Outfitters. This is our second afternoon, new spot. This is a spot we've hunted in the past and had some encounters with some good deer years ago. Come back in today and put a stand in pretty much the same tree that we were in, I don't know, eight, nine, ten years ago out here. So we're pumped up, we're scrambling because there's already deer coming out right now into the field right here next to us. Super windy this afternoon, probably 25 mile an hour winds. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge shooting today. If we get a shot, it feels good though. Temperatures has dropped off like 10 degrees or so. Hey, 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 right here, right here on the edge. Right here on the edge, you see that buck? He's like 50 yards right there. He's a shooter. Are you good to film? He's gonna come across 
towards another buck. He's gonna give us a shot right here. Are you good? that baby how about that I mean haven't even got set up in the tree we hadn't even got set up and looked up and I said Cody big buck right here our left I mean we had just gotten a tree how about that dude <laughs> that don't ever happen to us smoked him I was in total shock at what had just happened we literally had just got in this set of Millenniums and judging by it, I would say that we were definitely on the X. I'm still shaking my head at how fast that happened. I think it's the first time ever bow hunting that I've literally climbed up. Deer's right there in front of us. Go check out the arrow and see what it looks like out here. Deer movement's been a little bit sporadic. We've actually just had one little buck come through close to the gate cap and one doe earlier. And most of the deer have come out down on this point. And as soon as they get out in the alfalfa, they run to the middle of it. The wind's got them real skittish. And we haven't seen some of the bigger deer that we saw yesterday as of yet. So maybe that's a good sign. Maybe they're still tucked back in here and bedded up and gonna make their way out. But for right now, it's been a a much different afternoon than it was yesterday. They didn't use this gate cap hardly at all this afternoon. There's a deer on the road down here. On that trail. It's a shooter. It's that six by five, I think, that velvet six by five. Here it comes. River bottom. It's that six by five, I think, that velvet six by five. There he comes. Got him good. He's gonna come up tight. He's gonna come up tight to the canyon here. All right, here he comes. Got him right there right now. I think we smoked him, baby. I think we smoked him. <laughs> Man, our season. Season 12. And we just smoked a beautiful, beautiful velvet. I think he's a 6x5, isn't he? Powder River Outfitters, my man John. We cannot thank you boys enough. That is a beautiful deer set up in Phillips Flat up here. Old P-Vitty and them years ago sat up in this canyon. Had the wrong wind to get in our set of millenniums. Got creative, got up in here, but grabbed our millennium chair. And I mean, he came perfect. Smoked him. I think he ran maybe 100 yards. And that's it. Season 12. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Scuba. Whew, what a deer. Hey, what? God, what? God, what? <laughs> Crews arrived. It's been a heck of a night in Montana at Powder River Outfitters. We're rolling in here to get Hosey and Scuba. We shot early, like three o'clock this afternoon, and we just got a text a little bit ago that Hosey had struck. So two for two on night two in Montana. Y'all just couldn't, y'all just couldn't let us, couldn't let us have it for tonight, could you? Good job, buddy. Appreciate it, bro. Right here's where he come. Look at here. Yeah. That's, that's right where you can see right there. <laughs> We're right on the blood trail. Boy, so I see velvet orange right there. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, I did not. Good job, buddy. Yeah. 
boy. Dude, he is awesome. Full of velvet still. That's him. Look at this deer. God. I mean, man, he is a beautiful. beautiful, beautiful Montana. Six point. Well, I call him a 12 point. He's a 12 point. He's got, He's a, got kicker. a kicker. Yeah. And you could not have shot him any dang better. I mean, we were fortunate to smoke him. I cannot thank the good Lord enough. Travis, my boy John, my man Birdsong. This is my first hunt of the season. Birdsong got it kicked off strong in North Dakota. We're about to hit his blood trail here in a little bit. But I cannot never tell you how blessed we are to be able to do this and to be out here in God's creation. And I'm thankful for a rock and start, man. Thank you for all that you've done. Hey, I appreciate you, my brother. There ain't no better place to kick it off for you either than Powder River Outfitters. <laughs> this place, man, is just, it's its incredible. When we say it's incredible, it is incredible. Unbelievable. I'm proud for you. What a buck. Get them tagged up, it off. and let's get on the next blood trail. That's right, let's get them. What a deer. We can find this rascal. Blood right there, right here, right here. Here we go, it's picking up now. Hey, right here. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Congrats. Big John. Thank you, buddy. Most of the time, my deer's got ground shrinkage. This joker right here, oh, he's stiff. He's been, he's been dead for a while. Man, that is awesome. Heck of a 10 pointer in Montana. What what a dang night. <laughs> we started the blood trailing with Hosey and ended right here on a big old Powder River 10 pointer at Powder River Outfitters. I'm telling you, we talk about it all the time, but I cannot stress how unbelievably blessed we are to get to hunt a place like this. It's one of the, the best places, if not the best place in the entire country we hunt for whitetails every year. Literally, we're seeing two to 300 deer a night across all the alfalfa fields and just, you know, good bucks. And, and this is a prime example of it right here. This deer stepped out tonight and Cody and I hadn't even got set up in a tree stand yet. I mean, that never ha that's hosey luck right there. It never <laughs> happens to me. We'll get a tag on this old rascal here. We got some celebrating to do tonight. That's how you kick off the season right there, so. Montana has done it again. I mean, what can I say? No doubt one of our favorite places to hunt in the country. The West is just someplace special. We love being out there. Cannot thank Travis enough, John enough, everybody at Powder River Outfitters. This place is special. We're thankful to be a part of it and cannot wait to be back next year. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a goner. <laughs>